Hello guys, welcome back to the channel. So today we're gonna take a look at the Mixtile Blade 3 that Mixtile kindly sent me to check it out. This is a single board computer powered by the Octa-Core Rockchip RK3588. Apart from the computer itself, they also sent me a Blade 3 case too. So there are different versions, in my case they sent me the base version which has 16GB of RAM and 128GB eMMC. So without losing any more time, let's open the box and take a closer look at this computer. And so, uh, we got a small quick start guide with some information and we got the computer itself. And as you can see, this is really really a small board with about 10 cm long by uh, 7.2 cm wide. And before we check out the case, here's some more detailed specs about this stackable single board computer. So, the Mixtile Blade 3 is a low cost and low power SBC based on 8 nanometers rock chip RK3588 CPU. Ideal for various types of applications, I think one of the most important is the stackable option which allows you to clustering several Blade 3 creating a high performance computer. Designed to run natively Android or Linux, it can run also under other systems. Uh, as for the specifications, I can highlight the Rockchip CPU again, also the fact that we can get up to 32GB of RAM, the fact we get HDMI 2.1 capable of 120 frames per second. Uh, we also have a mini PCI Express which allow us to install, for example, a Wi-Fi and Bluetooth card, which I personally think that should be a factor on board option. Another cool feature is the 2.5 gigabit Ethernet ports and the two USB-C ports too, along other important features that you can read on the screen. Now, with that being said, let's take a look at the Blade 3 case. The case is also very small, but it's quite heavy and full metal. Along with the case, you will get another cool feature, which is an NVMe adapter, which will allow you to expand the internal storage. And looks like we got a little surprise. The case has a little fan inside to improve the cooling of the CPU. So, let's quickly reassemble the computer into the case, also have an NVMe hard disk and try this machine. So, and I noticed to install the board into the case, we're gonna need to remove the original heat sink. And after just a couple minutes, there we go, a mini computer ready to rock. For testing, I'm gonna use this awesome device, which has a display, keyboard, speakers and USB-C all in one. Perfect for these tests. Just one thing before we plug it in, keep in mind that this computer doesn't come with a power supply, so you will need to provide your own. In my case, I will use my 35 watt MacBook power supply.
So, and after setting up the account and connect the network cable that I forgot, we are ready to use this computer. As you may already notice, it came pre-installed with Linux Ubuntu. So, and what can you do with this computer? Well, a lot of things, of course. You can use it, for example, for development, programming, and some AI applications. And of course, if you need some extra juice, you can use the cluster feature, combining a couple of blade trees to form a power computer. But also, you can use it for daily basis computer, internet browsing, media center, and also some gaming. You can do pretty much whatever you want, as long as the operating system allows you, and of course, as long as the computer itself can do the tasks that you require. As a standalone board with a small form factor, this PC for me is kind of perfect for a media center or some retro gaming machine. As you can see, I'm running here main emulator and it runs simply perfect. For example, I also try the Kodi app for some TV channels and also works great. And you can take advantage of the 2.0 HDMI to use on a bigger and better display, of course. I also try GIMP for some image editing, as you can see, and it works just flawlessly. So, for the final conclusion. If we look at this as a professional device with a stackable option, I think this is pretty much perfect. But if we look more for the end user consumer as a single board option, the lack of a power supply and a Bluetooth or Wi Fi card is a very negative point. On the other hand, the quality of the case is really high and the assemble is pretty simple. So, overall, I think it's a pretty good computer. So, if you want to buy a mixed style Blade 3 board, or a mixed style Blade 3 case, or even a mixed style cluster box, you can use my coupon code FabioFunt to get a $50 discount. So, go to mixstyle.com and get your discount before it ends. If you have any doubts, or if you want me to check or test anything else on this Blade 3, just leave it on the comment below or simply email me. As always, thanks for watching, see you in the next one.